Hello everybody and welcome back to another brand new video here on my channel. So in today's video guys we're going to be talking about the second build of the week from Ghost Games on Need for Speed Payback and this time guys it's the 1971 Nissan Fairlady 240Z G. Now, um, Ghost Games has revealed its second build of the week for Need for Speed Payback. Uh, the series, which aims to showcase a uniquely modified car once a week, gives players a glimpse of the customization at their disposal in Need for Speed Payback when it launches worldwide on November 10th. Now, this week's build is yet another derelict, um, which is the Fair Lady, and these hidden cards can be found across the world of Fortune Valley off the beaten path. You build them up from literally nothing else but strap to stock and then ultimately to supercar. Uh, now, to start any derelict project, you'll first need to find a chassis, and what you do, you'll see it in your garage, patiently waiting for you to find the parts that make it complete. Alongside the chassis of the car, you'll also need to locate four other distinct parts. These include the wheels, drivetrain, and two unique parts that are specific to your chosen derelict build. Each of the five parts that makes up a derelict can be found hidden through Fortune Valley, so be on the lookout for all of them to find. Once you've found everything you need, you can take your ride from scrap to stock, and this 240ZG has been upgraded uh, from scrap all the way up to supercar, and in Need for Speed Payback, you can choose between any one of five classes for your ride, which include race, drift, off-road, drag, and runner. This build has been upgraded to a drag T3317, with the tier representing the choice of performance parts applied to the car. As this derelict has been upgraded to tier 3, it can be then turned into a super build, unlocking more extreme visual customizations and turning what was once a piece of scrap into an absolute monster. On screen guys here you see the performance that have been applied, you had the level 13 head, level 13 block, level 12 ECU, level 13 turbo, level 12 exhaust and the level 15 transmission. The level of your parts is one of the most important factors to consider when it comes down to performance and upgrading it. The higher the level, the more performance you're going to get from it. In addition, the level of your parts helps to determine the tier of your car. And if you've got a car with a set of level 1 parts applied to it, it will be tier 1.0. Equip another car with level 18 parts, which is the maximum level, and the tier will increase to 3.99. Our Nissan has a uh, tier 3.17 and has been built, pure, uh, built for pure straight line drag race in action. On screen now guys you also have the stock and modified performance stats for the 1971 Nissan Fairlady 240ZG. You've got max power, top speed, launching, airtime, quarter mile, braking, uh, response and power etc. All of the stats for stock and when it's been upgraded. The Nissan Fairlady has been purposely built for drag racing. Huge drag slicks wrapped around a set of weld racing rims help to get the power to the pavement. Once it gets going it wants to throw it front wheels in the air so Ghost Games has fitted a wheelie bar to keep it in check. The big aluminium drag wing help guide it through the air and turn this already um, swave machine into an absolute rocket ship. In addition, the team have wrapped it uh, as a nod to an old Nissan racing cars of the past with the added Need for Speed Heritage twist. Leading up to the release of Need for Speed Payback this November, Ghost Games will share a new build of the week every week, so stay tuned to this channel to be kept up to date for the latest builds. Customization again remains a key element in Payback, and this trend will be seen across the 11 upcoming builds that have yet to be shared by Ghost Games, making for a total of 13 uniquely built rides to be on the lookout for in the run-up to launch. Uh, if you have missed it, uh, check out the build of the week from last week featured on my channel, which featured the 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air, customised to be taken off the road with chunky oversized tyres and the big Recon B57B rims. Recently Ghost Games as well revealed its customization 101 blowout for Need for Speed Payback, which detailed the dealerships, garages, part shops and gas locations located across Fortune Valley, the hidden derelicts scattered throughout the open world, and the vanity customization options available for your ride. In addition, I also learned about the performance parts that can be fitted to your ride as well as live tuning, and I have videos about all of those, so go ahead and check them out over on my channel. Need for Speed Payback will be available on Xbox One, PS4 and PC via Origin, and will launch worldwide on November 10th. Deluxe Edition owners can start playing for November 7th, while those who have EA access on Xbox One or Origin access on PC can play before anyone else starting on November 2nd with a play first trial. So that's it for me in today's video guys, I did hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down there what uh, kind of things you'd like to see uh, be brought back in Need for Speed Payback from previous games, and what kind of uh, builds of the week you are hoping for uh, Ghost Games to release in the coming weeks up to the launch of Need for Speed Payback. But like I said guys that's it for me in today's video I did hope you enjoyed it and if you did please like comment and subscribe and I will see you over in my next video guys so I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye bye